Surf monkey coconut. A lot of people say that you need a green thumb to grow uh, really healthy and vibrant plants, but I don't think that's true. 95% of the uh, effort in creating a plant is actually done by the plant itself. All the grower is doing is just providing the most ideal conditions for that plant to grow. So I want to um, just kind of show you the basic tools that you'll need to have a successful growing season. Um, and um, most of these items are available in our eBay auctions. We offer them for very affordable prices. Um, the stuff that we don't offer are you know, either free, like these come from the grocery store, or um, available for um, you know, more economical shipping from other sources like these five gallon pots. But the smaller necessary tools we do have. Uh, six, the six celled seedling starter tray you've seen in the how to sow tobacco video. Very wonderful product. Um, it's great for um, getting those little seeds to germinate. And then you have these nice little uh, modular plugs that pop out and then you can stick them into the next available container. Um, we also have another single celled uh, starter tray, which is great for other um, types of vegetables that have larger root structures or even fluffier tops where um, the six celled tray wouldn't be able to accommodate, such as uh, lettuces or some types of winter bulbs or winter starts. Um, what I <laughs> and don't mind the surf monkey cheering squad we have behind us. We have a little bit of an audience today. Shipping is a little bit of an obstacle, but we do get these into the most economical size um, uh, allowable by the United States Parcel Service. You know, the lowest cost for the most amount of trays getting to you. So this is about 80 single trays of six cells, and then we have the same uh, configuration with the um, single cells. So you get 80 of these trays. And of course, plant labels, always essential for your growing needs. Um, you know, say sometimes uh, you're growing uh, different types of lettuces. They all kind of look uh, look similar, but you know, have minor differences, red lettuce, green lettuce. Uh, you know, grab one of these labels, uh, put the name on it, and just stick it into your tray there. Um, so again, the drip trays are free from your supermarket. You just have to know where to look. These are the mushroom uh, containers that you know mushrooms come in and these are um, tofu plastic containers so they make perfect drip pans for the seedling starter trays and um, the best part about this is that we always recommend that you um, water these seedling trays from the bottom to stimulate root growth um, by capillary action the soil will pull the water up from the tray so you just get your watering can and just top these off every time they are visually in need of water um, it's the perfect, uh, just these drainage holes on the bottom is like the perfect size just to regulate the amount of moisture needed in the soil. And we haven't had any problems, you know, any type of seed that you have. These are fantastic. Um, this is a fantastic seed starting system. Um, in order to expedite um, growth for all of your plants, you want to make sure that you maintain um, the most ideal conditions again. So as soon as you start to see that the plant's growth has stopped a little, or um, you can already start to see some of the root growth coming out from the bottom of the trays, you want to immediately transplant them to a larger container. And again, these 4x4 containers are perfect. Again, they um, thin plastic, so a lot of the ambient room temperature can get to the root system and help the um, plant to know that it's okay to keep spreading out and growing. And again, we put a plant label in each of these so that we know exactly what's growing in that pot. Um, so after this stage, you know, um, once the plant is you know to a substantial size and you have these pots you've brought them out hardened your plant brought them outdoors during the day indoors at night you know just so that it um, can uh, acclimate a little bit to the outdoor climate say you know for about a week um, then you're ready to actually plant your plants into your garden or if you're going to still go with um, garden containers i always recommend that you go with the largest available pot that you can get your hands on and this is a five gallon uh, growing container. Um, they also sell cheaper things like uh, growing bags that are five gallons. They just kind of look like a big, or well, a small garbage bag that's about this size that will stand on its own when filled with soil. So, um, you know, either go into the garden or get it a five gallon pot. And these are perfect for growing um, any type of uh, bigger plants like tomatoes or your tobacco seeds. Um, lettuces, you know, they can go they can be in a shallower container than that, but um, you know it's all per the need of the actual plant that you're growing. So if you have any videos on starting seeds, it'd be great to see them. Post them and let us know about it. 
Uh, it'll be very interesting to see some of your summer or even winter starts. And again, we'll continue to keep posting interesting projects for you um, using these materials and um, you know, perhaps even something a little more exotic in the future. All right, well, um, happy growing everyone and thanks again for watching.